Deuce, 9.2 takes over as majority share. A lot of people were like, is he going to sit in the board? Is he going to be part of the thing where there's a structure and other people you got to talk to? Because uh -uh. this is capitalism, bro, where the winners win. What's your podcast? The Coach HP Show. <laughs> I love it. Coach HP. HP, I like it, what a vibe. You got a yeah, great vibe so going on. We're vibe. happy we can meet great you. Great energy. Three, two, one, boom, and we're back. What's up, everybody? It's your coach. Welcome back to the number one positivity slanging podcast on the internet right now, the Coach HP Show. Thank you so much for the love, for the support. Let's get into this. Our boy Elon. Is about to buy Twitter. Hot top and buzz. So Elon Musk declined to join Twitter's board of directors after taking a nine and a quarter percent stake in the company. Musk spent the weekend criticizing Twitter, though, even posting a poll to turn Twitter's San Francisco headquarters into a homeless shelter. While back, we posted the video. Elon, majority shareholder, nine point deuce, nine point deuce. Who's into the points? This guy is nine point deuce, nine point two. Takes over as majority share. A lot of people were like, is he going to sit in the board? Is he going to be part of the thing where there's a structure and other people you got to talk to? Uh -uh. Not our boy. Our boy immediately today, April 14th, an offer offered <laughs> 43 billion, 43 billion buying the share at 5420 a share, 43 billion to take over the whole thing. Now you're saying, does this guy have this kind of money? In case you don't know, Elon's the richest man in the world. 224 billy. 224 billy. So he made that move. He declined. He declined to sit on that little board. One of the reasons why, one of the many reasons why you sit on the board, you can only do a majority of 14%. You can't buy anything more. He said, I don't need your board. I am the board. So he went 43 billion. All these things that are really good. One Number one thing I love about this dude is the honesty. As you see here on this post, he tweeted, listen, I've made an offer and put the de details up. I love that. I love a dude that puts himself out there that just shows exactly what he's doing. And he can do that. Other people stay behind closed doors. There's a lot of speculation. Not this dude. He put it out there. How much he's, what he's done, what he's about to do. He put that out there. He also recently added that he put like the top 10 most followed Twitter accounts. Very inactive, rarely even tweet. I think Obama was number one because they took out our boy. And then it's just people that are up there, but they don't really tweet. So they're not really using the platform. Another thing he says that we love is he says the, the censorship. He's attacking the censorship. Too many people using Twitter. This person can't be on this. That person can't be on. Not with our boy. Watch out with the Trumpster. We could be coming back on Twitter now, which is going to change everything. I feel like I've always felt I'm a Tesla guy. I'm going to do a Tesla review for you guys coming soon. Anything this guy touches, it's almost to perfection because he's honest. He's transparent. He's out in the open and he doesn't need to make anybody happy he doesn't need to make anybody like him he's just himself and today when people are super not being themselves who can love anybody more especially in the free speech game this guy has become the face of free speech than our boy elon we love the honesty i love that he's attacking censorship i love that he said okay enough is enough we're going to relook at this whole thing. We're going to relook how Twitter is shaped. We're going to be the voice. You want YouTube? YouTube's going to do what they're going to do. Listen, we love YouTube. YouTube is, is you guys. But then I'm going to take over Twitter. And I'm going to fix this thing. And I'm going to make Twitter the hottest, newest place, platform where people can share opinions. And if you're a terrorist or if you're somebody really out there, then you'll get blocked. But if you're speaking your opinion, even though some might like it, some might not, you don't get taken down. You get to share your story and the public gets to pick. Look at this idea of the public picking 
what they want to hear, what they want to believe in, and what they don't. That's what I love. I love choice. I love the right thing. I love America, man. It's your coach. I love you guys. I hope you have the best weekend ever. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. Remember, at the end of the day, keep going hard and do your thing. Uh -huh.